Hello, welcome to daily news from Merjayat TV. Daily meetings of Grand Shia Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Kom. The office of the Shia Islamic Jurist Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sada Hussein Shirazi in the holy city of Qom hosts crowds of Shia believers from around the world, including religious scholars, clerics, activists, and academics, as part of the daily meetings of the Grand Jurist. In these meetings, the visitors offer reports of their activities and listen to pieces of advice by the Grand Jurist. It is worth noting that the daily meetings of the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi are held every day before known prayers. A statement by Grand Ayatollah Shirazi on the occasion of Arbain 2018. On the occasion of the Arbain, the Grand Shia Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sada Hussein Shirazi released a statement in which he underscored the importance of Arbain pilgrimage based on the traditions of the Holy Prophet of Islam and the Infallibles. His Eminence appreciated all contributions to this pilgrimage and clarified on the prime purposes of Ashura. The Grand Jurist also pointed to the immense rewards of Arbain pilgrimage, especially in difficult conditions, and said, The pilgrimage to Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, throughout the year, particularly during the Arbain, is an exceptional religious practice, which is highly recommended even at the presence of threats to life, torture, and other afflictions. During the reign of the Umayyad and Abbasid regimes, the pilgrims of Imam Hussein were subjected to all kinds of threats, such as persecution, torture, imprisonment, the cutting of hands and legs, the gouging of eyeballs, and even murder. However, the holy infallible Imams, who are the true interpreters of Quran, encouraged their followers and ordered people to perform this pilgrimage every year, month, week, and day, as mentioned in the successive traditions. Further, the Grand Jurist made a few points about the glorious uprising of 1920 in Iraq, in which thousands of Iraqis sacrificed their lives to push back British colonialists. His eminence then said, Without a doubt, the Arbain pilgrimage stands out in the entire course of history as the only annual peaceful gathering of tens of millions of people who participate in this pilgrimage, regardless of the differences of their cultures, languages, races, colors, and even faiths. At the end, the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi introduced the model governments of the Holy Prophet of Islam and Imam Ali as the best methods to follow. He then mentioned that the Holy Imam Mahdi, may God hasten his advent, will also follow in the footsteps of his grandfather, the God's Messenger, and his father, Imam Ali, peace be upon them all. The Grand Jurist also called on all government leaders to read about the governing styles of the Holy Prophet and Imam Ali and use their methods in our today's world. Temporary Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi continues its activities in Holy Karbala. The Temporary Office of Grand Shia Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sada Hussein Shirazi continues its activities in the Holy City of Karbala. This office hosts a large variety of scholars, clerics, and religious and social figures from Iraq and other parts of the world. The latest issues of the Muslim world and the revitalization of Imam Hussein's rituals are the main focus of these meetings. This office also hosts questions and answer sessions, distributes books and other cultural packages, and hosts visitors. Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Karbala hosts dignitaries. With the approach of Arbain of 2018, the office of the Shia Islamic Jurist Grand Ayatollah Shirazi hosts cultural, religious, and social figures in the holy city of Karbala. Within this framework, this office hosted a group of clerics and pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, from different parts of Iraq, as well as other Arab and Muslim countries, and even European countries in the past few days. Syed Ahmad Shirazi visits clerics booths in Holy Karbala, Iraq. The Quranic booths by religious clerics continue their activities in the Arbain of 2018 in different parts of Holy Karbala and in the routes leading to this holy city. In the past few days, these Quranic booths hosted a variety of cultural and religious figures as well as pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Sayyid Ahmad Shirazi, the respected son of the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi, was one of the visitors of these Quranic booths in Holy Karbala. During this visit, the Grand Jurist's son met with the members of these Quranic booths and appreciated their non-stop efforts to uphold the rituals and memory of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Activities by Shia Societies Association during Arbain in Iraq the Shia Society's Association, dependent to Imam Shirazi World Center in Holy Karbala, continues its activities in Iraq during the Arbain of 2018. The members of this association visit service units in different parts of Holy Karbala and convey the guidelines and advices of the Grand Jurists to these centers. This association also visited the Quranic booths of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi and the Islamic History Museum. Furthermore, the members of this association met with Sheikh Aus, one of the representatives of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Baghdad, and some other security forces in Mahmudiyah city. 
preaching activities of the Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Karbala. The Office of the Grand Shia Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Karbala hosts various groups of social and religious figures, as well as pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, and Quranic booths by the center in different parts of Holy Karbala during the Arbain of 2018. These Quranic booths answer religious questions of pilgrims and welcome masses of pilgrims since 9th of Safar, October 19, 2018. Ben Fahad Hildi Seminary sets up Quranic booths in Holy Karbala. Ben Fahad Hildi Seminary, affiliated to Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Karbala, set up several Quranic booths in this city to help out pilgrims of Imam Hussein with their religious questions. Furthermore, some delegates of this seminary visited other Quranic booths in Holy Karbala and learned about their activities from close. Quranic booth of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Najaf hosts pilgrims. On the threshold of Arbain, the Quranic booth by the office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Najaf hosts large groups of pilgrims from different parts of the world. In the past few days, pilgrims from Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, Turkey, Yemen, and etc. have visited the Quranic booth of Grand Jurist Office in Holy Najaf. Activities by Rasul Azam Center in Holy Karbala during Arbain the Rasul Azam Center, based in Holy Kadimiya, has set up a branch in Holy Karbala in order to serve the millions of Imam Hussein's pilgrims during the holy days of Arbain. This center distributes free meals among pilgrims, provides resting places for them, and holds commemorative ceremonies in Holy Karbala. In the past few days, Sayyid Mahdi Shirazi, the son of the late Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi, visited this center and learned about its activities from close. Activities by Quranic Booth of Ahlul Bayt Institute in Arbain the Ahlul Bayt Cultural and Charitable Institute, affiliated to Grand Ayatollah Shiraz's office in Basra, set up a Quranic booth to help out the pilgrims of Imam Hussein during the Arbain of 2018. This booth is presently serving pilgrims in the Najaf to Karbala Road at Electricity Pole 106. Besides answering religious questions of pilgrims, this booth gave out presents to pilgrims with the slogan of Imam Hussein Unites Us. In the past few days, this booth hosted Sayyid Ataullah Husseini, the director of the office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. The Quranic booth by Ahlul Bayt Institute also organized a contest for recitation of Holy Quran among pilgrims. Music